Hi everyone, welcome to RM24.com channel. Today we're assembling the Samsung Galaxy A15. First thing first, we need to remove the SIM card tray. Use a SIM injector tool for this, just insert it into the hole and gently push to pop the tray out. If the tray is stuck, you can carefully use a pair of tweezers to assist. Next, we need to heat the back cover to around 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating pad, but a hair dryer works too. After heating for about 5 to 7 minutes, we can start separating the back cover. To begin, we use a thin, firm tool to get underneath the edge of the back cover and create a small gap. Then we switch to a thin plastic film to safely slice through the adhesive. Please note, avoid using metal tool here, you risk damaging the cover edges. Ok, we gently slide the plastic film along the edges to cut the adhesive and leave the back cover. Be especially careful around the camera area and the fingerprint sensor cable. As you can see, we slightly bend the fingerprint sensor flex cable, but thankfully we didn't damage it. Now let's disconnect the fingerprint sensor and move on to removing the screws. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash we unscrew carefully and place each screw on a magnetic mat or tray in a pattern so you can reassemble correctly later. If any screws are hard to remove, you can magnetize the screwdriver or use tweezers to pull them out once loosened. Notice how the antenna lines near the bottom are now made of denser material and slightly recessed, making them harder to accidentally damage when removing the back cover. Next, we remove the mid frame. We insert a thin plastic tool into the gap between the mid frame and the display frame near the seam tray area and start unclipping it. Once a few clips are loose, you can switch to a slightly thicker plastic tool. And we go around the edges carefully, unclipping the frame as you go. Be extra cautious at the corner where the frame tends to hold more tightly and avoid pressing against the edge of the display to prevent damage. Once the clips are released, remove the mid-frame. On the mid-frame there is antenna contacts and the lower speaker module. Now let's disconnect the battery connector. Use a non-metallic tool. We are using ceramic tipped tweezers to safely detach the battery connector. Next, we recommend covering the camera lenses with a protective film to avoid getting dust or debris on them during the teardown. Once all the lenses are covered, we can continue. We disconnect the interconnect flex cable from both the main board and the subboard and move the cable aside. Please note that the cable has a directional arrow pointing toward the mainboard. Now disconnect 
both coaxial cables and gently unclip them from their holders on the subboard. We detach the display flex cable connector, which is glued to the subboard. Lift it gently by the edge and peel it off slowly. Then we remove the one screw holding down the subboard using the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. This screw is different from the others, so keep it separate. And we carefully lift and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headphone jack port and some components on the reverse side. And now our quick check the microphone hole. It is L-shaped and built into the frame, so even if something is inserted into the mic hole, the actual microphone won't be damaged. It is located safely on the subboard behind the hull. And the vibration motor is housed in the display frame. Ok, let's move on to the main board. We disconnect and remove the two rear cameras and set them aside. We can also disconnect the front camera. It is a good idea to protect the front camera lens with a film as well, to avoid damage during the assembly or reassembly. Next we disconnect the two coaxial cables from the main board. Then we remove one screw securing the mainboard using the same Phillips screwdriver. We carefully set the screw aside. Now we gently lift and remove the mainboard. We find the right edge to lift from, take it out and flip it over. Here we disconnect and remove the third rear camera then set the main board aside. Ok, finally we will remove the battery. As with recent Samsung models, there is a blue pull tab. Fold it up carefully. We will also notice clear adhesive on the sides, which we should peel back to avoid interference. Ok, we gently pull the blue tab straight up, watch for any resistance from the side adhesive and continue pulling until the battery comes free. Under the battery there is a transparent adhesive protective layer. And that is it for today, thank you for watching and catch you in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.